Ready? Okay, once again, we are in London versus um, Marysville, London baseball game in the playoffs. Uh, number 12 for Marysville, second baseman Atkins at bat. We told you we'd try to bring you the London game, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, <laughs> quick, Sean's the pitcher. We'll give you the lineup for London. We got Brill at third, McCoy at uh, left field, Con pitching, Noble at first, Peters at shortstop, May at right field, Tobin catching, Mark center field, and Litchfield at second base. Marysville comes out right off the bat with um, a single, right up the right over second base. And the con makes goes for the pickoff. Doesn't quite get there. We're experiencing some camera difficulties. Uh, we had we went and got uh, borrowed Mrs. Con, the assistant coaches. Camera got strike one there. Camera until we can get figure out what's wrong with ours. And knowing me, I didn't bring any extra cameras with me, which we have plenty of them. It's just that uh, we didn't expect this problem to happen. We'd never had it happen before. And to throw over this first is once again, holding the runner Atkins on base. I ask Atkins must be a threat. I'm sure they've probably done their homework and they found out that Atkins could be a threat as far as um, stealing bases. Here's a pitch, and they got some wood on it. It's a pop-up to right field, routine out, back to first, and we got double play. Two outs. The runner got off a little bit too far at first and uh, was thrown out. Big play for London there. So right now we have two people up and two people are out. Here's the pitch, a little high, ball one. Right now I'm by myself. I'm looking for somebody in the stands to come down here and be a part of this. We got one and one count. And there's a pitch, ball two. Here comes the pitch. Strike. Con pitched the last game uh, against Utica, and we come out winning victorious in the bottom of the seventh, where we got a hit and bunted two people. Two people bunted on. And then the pitcher who had pitched an excellent game walked the third batter. And we have one, two, three. Good start so far. Carl, you up. First batter for London. First three batters up for London will be Brill, McCoy, and Kahn. Brill's your third baseman. Brill's had 49 at bats, average and four, 490. And he got to take a ball. Looking good eye for Bro. And Bro gets some wood into it. It's going out the right field. Routine out to the right fielder for out number one. Next batter will be number 16, left fielder, McCoy. Hey, and McCoy takes call, strike one. McCoy looks, here's the pitch, and he reaches for it. Short hopper to third baseman, good throw, and he's out. Out number two, London went down, uh, London knocked uh, Marysville after one hit.
second batter up, lined the ball to the right fielder, who was able to catch the runner off at first and threw him out for a double play, and then get the glass form was thrown out, was out. Conjure, third batter, he's a pitcher, he gets a shot down, shortstop, oh, and the shortstop makes a diving catch, but we gotta give a hit, Con gets a hit out of that. Beautiful stop by the shortstop as he dove into the grass and and uh, put the stop on that shot there. I don't think it could max the bases. The ball was moving kind of, it was moving pretty good. And there we go, that's Noble. Noble puts the wood to it. Routine out to left fielder for out number three. Had good wood on it. Routine out, number three. Okay, top of the second inning. First batter for Marysville will be short. Wilcox on decks and Sandy, Sandia will be your third batter. Short is the pitcher, number 10. And he takes call strike one. Pitcher for London is Sean Kahn. And shot to second baseman, fielded by Litchfield, I believe it is. Who is the second baseman? It's Litchfield to Tobin. Easy out. Quick shot to the second baseman. London's been doing some, playing some really good defense, fielding the ball and making good throws. And that's what to make, that's the marking of a champion. Strike one, number 23 at bat, Wilcox. He's designated hitter. And strike two. There's a pitch, and he goes down swinging. Got him reaching for a low ball. Strike out. Hey, you ready? Ready, Carl? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> you sure? I got Roger Kane here, the reserve coach. Trying to get him to give me a few in, little insight on this game. I'm a spectator. So he says he wants to be a spectator, so I'll... I respect that. I say the wrong <laughs> and your batter up right now is Sandia. Sandia is the first baseman, number 35. And there's a pitch ball. Kind of lost track. See part of London's uh, winning track girls track team coming in to watch the boys, give them some support. Number 35, Sandia. And it's a shot. Shot to left field, and it's hauled in by McCoy. Good catch by McCoy. Routine out, number three. Three up, three down. At uh, no score, 
going into the bottom of the second. London, bottom of the second. First three batters will be Peters, May, and Tobin. Peters is shortstop. Peters is one of them that uh, laid down, I believe he laid down a real good bunt in that last game to pull out that win. To help pull out that win. We've got uh, Ryan Peters coming in at the 349 average in the day. His eight walks, 18 RBIs to his credit, two home runs. And he has stolen four bases. And, uh, yeah, you're right. He was, uh, I believe he was the first one to lay the bunt. Yeah. He did, and then uh, Kevin Long came down. And strike two called on Peters. Short the pitcher. Looks like he's got a little steam. Marysville usually has a pretty good team. Every year. And Ryan takes a high one and knocks, hits it back to the pitcher. Routine out. Looks like you chopped one high in the strike zone. Yeah, it did. It was a little high. Get a three and two count on you. Yeah. Got to be a little cautious. Check the plate. Next batter up is May, right fielder, number seven. Coming in with a 396. Average, 14 RBIs to his credit, a home run. Has walked four times. Strike one. One and one count. We were talking about Jason May on Tuesday. He's, uh, I believe he's the only sophomore on the team, and he, I tell you, he's really stepped up. He's done a wonderful job. He plays right field and second base sometimes. And we got a pop-up over to the railroad track. Foul ball strike two. He uh, stepped up and has uh, taken the challenge on. He's done a really nice job with it. Here comes the pitch. Right down the gut. Look good from here. What do you call that? Call it a ball. I was trying to see the count. Yeah. Two and two or three and two. Looks May looks and he gets some wood on it. It's a good, a good solid shot. hit. That was a real good shot. It's gone yeah, to the fence. He's going to get extra bases. He'll get a definite double. He'll get a double out of that. He's there. Yes. He's there safe. May gets a double. And I tell you what, he didn't have any time to spare getting there either. Yeah, exactly. I, I tell you, that was a really nice relay. That, that throw, it wasn't a relay, was it? Yeah, well, no, it wasn't it like a, a throw. throw in yeah, it was a straight throw. I tell you, that right field fence is so short in. Yeah. It is tough. If you, what Jason did, he just hit a hard line drive, and it's tough to get a double, and he just got there. He should have slid. But uh, Yeah, had that ball been thrown closer to the, toward the bag, uh, yeah. it might have been trouble. Yeah. Batter up now is number 25, Tobin. He's the catcher. 432 average. Tobin's come in with a 432 average, huh? Has 17 RBIs. There's a pitch, and he takes a strike looking. No home runs yet, and I say yet because the uh, past few weeks he's really hit the ball. He's really got in contact with the ball. I was watching him strike two. I was watching him in warm-ups. Mm -hmm. Bat in practice, and uh, uh, I tell you what, he can put some wood on that ball. He can send it. I'm, uh, I'm really surprised he hasn't got one yet, but the uh, season's not over. Oh. That's, uh, <laughs> that looked pretty good. <laughs> it did <looked> awful good. <laughs> From here, it was either outside or inside, but the height was right. Yeah, it was a perfect strike, unless it was inside out, like he says. There's the pitch. And a foul ball straight up back over the fence. I don't, the catcher's got to play. And he's out. Chased one high and, and, and looked like outside. Yeah. Out number two. Probably should have let that one go. Catcher kept his eyes on it. Made the play. Batter up now is number 11. Long. He'll be batting for Marks. The second bunner. Uh, yeah, he laid down he a laid beautiful down bunt a really to, nice that, uh, to uh, help win that game the other night. Got the runners over, and he did he did what he was supposed to do. He did it uh, nicely. Looks like we got a new pitcher, Gary. 
Left hander number 35, Sandia. He's the first baseman moving into pitch. If I'd have had time, I'd have went and got another camera. We're not sure. Huh? For London, once again, like I said, is long, number 11, designated hitter. He's a DH for London. Batting for Marks. And he takes cold strike one. Look. He's come up to the plate five times, hitting three of those five for a 600 average. And, and like we said before we went off, that uh, third hit is that beautiful bunt right down the line, uh, moved the runners, and eventually uh, we won the game. That, that was on Tuesday. Yeah, one and one. Ball. London's got a runner in um, scoring position on second base. Runner on second, two outs. He said before, we, uh, Long has stepped up and has taken the challenge. Hitting three out of the five times. Isn't he a junior? Nice job. Uh, yes, he is. Yeah, strike two. Good solid cut. That's one of them swing on them pitches that's uh, right just about eye level. Mm -hmm. You almost have to swing at it. Yeah. That was a good cut. Bottom of the second, no score. And as long gets a hit. shot to second base, he's got to make a run fast. He's thrown out of first. So at the bottom end of two. We have a score of zero to zero. And we're in the top of the third. Score nothing to nothing. Batters for London is Altzinger, Wimmer, and Seeger. First time at bat this time with number 47, a catcher. Got uh, Coach Conn over here yelling to, to our left fielder, Benji, that he's a he's a pull hitter, so we'll have to watch out the, for the baseline. And, and it's a little pop-up. Should be called by Noble, and he takes it in. Well, didn't exactly pull it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Went the wrong way, anyway. If you don't pull it, what do you do? Push it? <laughs> it's either a pull or a push. It's one of the two. I've been criticized about my uh, some of my words I use, so I'm trying to get better. It's either a pull or a push. <laughs> Number 32, Wimmers, Weimer, Wimmer, he's a shortstop. No, I wasn't necessarily criticized, I just don't know all the terminology and I don't profess to know it. I'm just out here trying to bring the game to the people. I was looking for the young man who said something, but I was going to have him sit here with me tonight. What was his name? Um, he was here last week, or last game, with a little kid. John Croach? Krupp, John Krupp, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Number 32 comes off with a single. Short stop. Weimers, so we got a runner on first. One out. Number 34, Sigurds the batter. What we got to do now is we got to get this batter, try to get her ground into a double play, get us out of the inning real quick. Yeah, we had that happen in the first inning where um, the runner hit the right field. Like you say, the right field is fairly short. Caught a runner off base, batter hit the right field, and the uh, catch was made and throw out at first. Con stretches. Here's the throw. Strike. As Tobin comes out of there like he's going to make the throw to... Uh, to your brother, Mr. Noble, down at first. Yeah, I'm not too sure what this guy's speed is out here on first, but uh, I don't really see him going. He's not really taking much of a lead, and that's a pickoff. And it was close. Very close. It was close. I think he got back in time. Though. Caught him off guard. Sean got him at a good point when uh, uh, the young man was still stepping out. There's the pitch. Just a little high and a run. Should have him. He's got him. He should have him. And he's out. Nice play. Nice play. Very nice throw. Nice catch. Beautiful throw. The throw looked like it might have been a little high, but it worked. But it worked. It was there in time. You got a tall shortstop that's got wide arms, long arms. Uh, you can get away with that a little. Ryan bit. Peters puts the tag on him. That, uh, that was timed up really nice. Nice job. Throw from Tobin to Peters. Now we're in business again. Two outs, nobody on. Top of the third, Sigurd. 
Not time to relax necessarily, but you got a little bit of pressure off now that no one's on. Here's the pitch, out. the shot, down to second base. Litchfield comes up, the noble routine out. Nice inning. Quick inning, yes. one, two, three. Not necessarily one, two, three, but it turned out that it way. It turned out that way. How about Litchfield? He's the second baseman, his first time up. Then we go to the top of the batting order with Brill and McCoy. We got to start getting some hits and runs right now. We can't wait until the fourth, fifth, sixth, even seventh inning. Like and that. Litchfield tags one to second base. Routine out. Got to start hitting in some gaps. Which next by the way is coming up with a 237 average with eight RBIs. Okay, it's Brill coming up for his second time at bat. He's the third baseman. First time he hit into an out. Ball one, ball hits plate. I'd say that was a ball, wouldn't you? Yeah. Not by much. <laughs> Not by much, huh? <laughs> Strike, one and one. They changed pitchers early in the game. Number 10. No, that's short. I thought you, they changed a while ago. Didn't they have they a left-hand? Yeah, they did. This is short. He's back in there. Yeah, uh, I believe as long as he stays in the infield, right. he can come back in and pitch. And yeah. I, I know the reason why they did. They had a left-handed batter come up. So they brought in a left-handed pitcher to match that. I wasn't really watching that, but I, yeah. I noticed that they changed back. Yeah, as long as he doesn't go out of the game, he can go back to pitch. Right. Strike two. Try to get that lefty against lefty, get it out of there, and then bring in your right-hander back. It's a pretty good strategy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like you made the comment earlier, Marysville's a very good ball club. And he's reaching. Here's the throw to first. Catcher missed the ball, and Brill is out. Catcher's got an arm. It looked pretty strong, didn't it? Yes. Without any effort. Yes. <laughs> looked like he just stood there and just tossed it. He's a pretty good sized fella. He looks like he might be go about 6'1, 6'2. Yeah, probably play 200 pounds. College ball, no doubt. Batter up now is McCoy, number 16 left fielder. His first time up at bat, he made an out. And when I say made an out, I don't know how, whether he popped out or. <laughs> he just I usually know out. if they struck out because I put this, so, but other than that, I don't. Uh, have that much of a way of knowing here. And he's looking. He called out a strike or what? I believe it's a ball. I believe he's in a 1 1 count now. We'll try to go ahead and keep track of these, this count here. <laughs> ball. 2 1 count now. 2 1 count. Yeah, I seen Corey come in a while ago. I asked him to come over and uh, do a little commentary with me. And he said he just wanted to watch the game. Where's he playing ball at, Carl? You know? It's up in uh, up in Michigan. I'm not too sure what. I can't remember what the school's name is. Bah. It's about a three, really? three two, full count. I'm not too sure where the school is located in Michigan, but I do know it is in Michigan. Yeah, Cora was a three-sport yeah. athlete, and we got a walk. As McCoy gets on on a walk. Very good three-sport athlete. He's good in basketball, baseball, and football. Believe it or not, that's Benji's first walk of the season. Is that right? Yes. See John Wilson come back to watch his old alma mater play. Here comes a pitch, con it bat, and he gets Good some wood on it. It's, it's hit. a hit through. That should get bent now. Ah, and we got a runner on first and second. As Con comes up with a single. Then she's got those long legs. Two outs, runners on second and third. Can we get something going here? No. Noble stepped up before when uh, it's these kind of situations. Let's see if he can do it again. Noble's your batter, number 17. Last time up, he hit into an out. 
And he gets some run on to it. It could, it could score a run. run. We got one run going to score. And we got a race to third. Will the throw be there? Yeah. Oh, and it's good. Oh. It, he dropped the ball. Nice. Yeah. Got a double by Noble. Scores one. Scored one run. Noble comes up with a double. That is RBI number 22 for Noble on a double. That is also his only a second double of the season. Like I said before, Noble's, uh, from what I understand, is supposed to be going to Wittenberg, so he's going to make them a fine ball baseball player when he gets there. Yeah, we're all very excited. Our next batter is Peters, number 20. Peters got a good, and he shot, shoots one down the second baseman, should be a routine out. However, so we come out of that inning with one run, two batter, two runners left on. Lennon goes up at the end of three, one to nothing. All right, we're back. We got Atkins coming up. He grounded out last time up, or got out, one of the two. Here's the pitch, high, ball one. Got one run on a stand-up double, one RBI stand-up double by Jason Noble last inning. It's one nothing us in the top of the fourth. Counts now two balls to no strikes. Here's the pitch. Got a strike, 2-1 count now. And he's still behind by a pitch. Close. Look pretty good from here. 3-1 count now. Batter Atkins is ahead of the count, the pitch. Low ball four, Atkins gets on. And with no outs, got Heath, left fielder coming up. He also got out last time. No outs, one on. 31, back up on the butt, man. Okay, we're back here. I'm back here. Who's that bat? Number 25, Heath? Yes. Atkins going on by way of a walk. Have a runner on first. No outs. We're in the top of the fourth. London playing against Marysville. One to nothing, London. London scored last inning. On a hit by Noble. Oh, a little high. Had that been down, they may have had him. Good stop, but... Uh... Yeah, way to get up by number 17, Noble. He had to do a little extra stretch in there. Here comes a shot to shortstop. Peters, he goes for one. Oh, and his throw's not too good. Runners advance to third. Got runners on uh, first and third. Wasn't too good of a throw. I tell you though, it, uh, Jason just did just about everything he could. He probably really could have come up with that ball, but uh, he did a real nice job trying. Thanks for that short fence, however. Kept that runner from going. Yeah. First, going to second. I did. Batter up now will be Glassborn. He's the center fielder. We have runners on first and third. No outs. Right now we need to be thinking about uh, double play and you can go ahead and, and go for the double play and give up that run. I mean, it's only one one run. There's still plenty of ball game left. We're only in the top of the fourth. You know, we got an offense that can get it going. So, so try to get these two outs. Uh, let the runner go and then get that third out and just get the offense going again. And Colin looked like he bared down. Looked like a 90 mile an hour pitch that time. Or you could throw two more of those. <laughs> we'll be just yeah, fine. that'd be the way to do it. Forget about the double play. Let's just strike the batter out. Strike the next two, three batters out. Wow, he just stood up there and just let that one Oh, go. man. I 
I'm wondering, I'm looking at Sean, and I really haven't seen him look to first that much. I wonder if he's got any signals between him and Brill. I'm not sure. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Good throw, good catch. But That's a good catch. I don't know about the throw. Throw was a little off. A little high. Good catch. But it got his attention. He will yeah. stay there. <laughs> it is a good thing it was it was not that high to go over Brill's head or that'd have been a run with ease. You gotta be careful with that. A pitch and it's a bunt. It's a bunt. He's gonna get him. Nice play. Hey, how about that? Forget your double play. We saved that one. Right there. Saved that run by Khan. That was heads up ball. Wow. That was that was beautiful feeling. Good show there. That's a good bunt though. Of course, naturally Sean picks, would pick the ball up and would check the runner at third. He just caught him. Caught him off base. Thinking. Yeah. And uh, perfect strike to Brill. And Brill made the nice tag and, and reassured with another tag. Made about two or three. <laughs> yeah. Tag one tag hand and grabbed him with the other hand, huh, Carl? <laughs> Make sure he gets that tag down. I got my daughter going after the other camera car on the train, you know, wouldn't you know a train would stop him? <laughs> oh, there's the end of it. Then. And the batter up is number 10. He's the pitcher, left-handed batter. Nice heads up play. Arizona! Runners on first and second after that magnificent play by Khan. And he throws a strike, strike one. Beautiful play. Oh, yeah. Both sides. Nice pickup, throw, catch, tag, everything. We're in the top of the fourth, lining up 1 0. Here comes the throw, and we got some wood on it, and it's going to be trouble. That's uh, oh, he dropped the He ball. doesn't handle the ball. And the run's going to score. And he makes the wrong throw. I got a feeling that throw should have been to the cutoff man, but it didn't go there. Well, I, I tell you what, first off, he, he bobbled the ball, and he was probably figuring, well, I bobbled the ball, then uh, I'm just going to try to wing it and get it there myself, and he was way off target on it, but uh, Sean Conn did a nice job backing up the catcher on the, on the... Yeah, there wasn't much chance of throwing him out at home, so the play would have been to the cutoff man to keep the runner on second, right. on first, instead of having the runner on uh, second and third. Hey, I want to talk to you because I, uh, we got uh, John, uh, what's your Krupp? I can't ever say, I'm a K-R-U-P-P. -P. I want to use some of your terminology since I found you told me I don't know nothing about terminology in baseball. Don't go away. John Krupp just walked in. Mr. Terminology is here. <laughs> uh, man, you, got, you got to be a terminologist when you're the American Legion head coach, buddy. Oh, help me, Jesus. I heard that. We have the American Legion head coach with us. A little cocky. <laughs> That's Madison County American Legion head coach, folks. One one. Or should I say London? <laughs> so, John, as long as you keep it uh, clean, uh, you can uh, oh, we all iterate a few clean. things. Iterate a few things here. Number 23 at bat. Is that 23 or 23? 23. Wilcox. He's. He's a designated hitter. He's DH, so he may be problems. Now, should I say designated hitter or should I say DH? Hey, both of them are correct. Okay, I want to know. Where, <laughs> I want to be right here. Oh, and a shot to second. Uh, a little bit of a bobble. And he makes the play. Nice bobble, but stay he, with uh, it. He, uh, Calmed himself down. He knew he had time. Picked up the ball and uh, made the sure out. In the meantime, kept the runner at third. So Held the runner first. We got two outs. Still have runners on second and third. And they didn't score yet. So we still have a one nothing ball game. London up. They did score. Did they score? When did they score? On the base hit to right field. Okay. Or not to the fence, but may, bobbled. May bobbled a little bit. That's right. Tie ball game. Find, find your feet somewhere. Stay behind the fence. Sit right over here in the grass. Just sit down. Batter up right now would be uh, Sandia. Oh, nice pitch. 
And we got called strike. Got a nice crowd out here on both sides of the fence here. Um, really nice. Most I've seen this year. And we got a shot the first face, but he handles it well. For out number three. Lennon gets out of that inning. One run. One run at the end, at the top of um, four, we have a score of one to one. Okay, runners for batters for London are number seven, May, Tobin, and Marks. Last time up, May got a double. One for one then, Let's see if he can get it going. He's one for one. And we got a little dribble down the third baseline. Will it go foul? Wow. Looked like it might run down the line there for a minute. Yeah, I know you was right on it, wasn't you, Carl? It's the old dribble ball deal. <laughs> um, give me some terminology on that situation right there, would you? That's nothing but a foul ball. Foul ball, okay. I know that part. You know I'm going to be on him, don't you? <laughs> He's giving me a hard time, isn't he? Yes, he is. Number. Oh, we still got May up. I don't know what I was getting ready. I had him out. Oh, he is out now. He is out now. <laughs> <laughs> May with a strikeout. Next batter up will be Tobin, Clark Tobin. Let's Tobin the to toe. Go ahead. the good one and swung at the bad one. Tobin's last time up, he um, somehow made an out. Strike one. I don't have any way of knowing all I got is out there. I know it wasn't a strikeout. Put it that way. I believe it was a ground out. <clears throat> we got one and one count. Mm. One and two. One and two. Clark's got to keep his head in it, just swing left. Strike three. Got caught looking. looking. Wow. Next batter up will be Long, the DH. Last time up Long drove one Long, but uh, it was fielded by the right fielder, I believe. Four and out. Well, bring in that. Yeah, there we go. Here's yeah. what threw me a while ago. They changed pitchers, but as long as you keep the pitcher in the game, um, you can go back and forth probably as much as you want. Good strategy here. Bring in a left-handed pitcher against a left-handed batter. One thing that we got in here is they got to take time to warm him up, and it seems like there should be some kind of penalty for that. What do you think? I, I would think three pitches would be fine enough. I, I don't see why we would have to go through the full eight or nine, how many they give him. I pretty, think more in terms of a couple runs. Pretty good scraggage. A little bit of a pump. <laughs> what, what are you up to, Carl? Carl and snug up buttons. We better Batter up for London is, like once again, it's still long. He's a dozen DH. I get that right here. You got it right. They brought in a left-handed pitcher to um, go against him. There's a the pitch he's looking. Ball one. My daughter went home and bought the camera down here. She ran all the way from Liberty Street with the camera for us. Strike one, one and one. <coughs> She's really dedicated to London sports. Beautiful pitch, wasn't it? Seem to be looking uh, at a few of good pitches. But a few of us are. Not too sure why. In a close ball game, you can't stand up there looking. You got to right. swing at the good ones. I totally agree. And we're early in the game. It's, we're in the bottom of the fourth. Score one to one. The only way you're going to get any runs is if you get uh, hits, except for walks. But he's he's not throwing balls. There's a the pitch. Struck. It looked good. Strike two. Come on, at the knees. You got to swing at the good ones, Long. Nobody on. But I've seen the umpires been two outs. Here's the pitch, and it's in the dirt. 
two two count. He's had two strikeouts so far this inning. This this guy's uh, well, it's not the same guy. He's got a different batter or different pitcher. I'll get that right in a minute. One of the two. Yeah, here's the pitch. And Long uh, put some wood to it. Go ahead and call that. Uh, good pitch by Khan. Is it a 1-1 one, one count or a 1-2 count? I kind of uh, lost track. Play it by ear. Play it by ear. 1-1. 1-1. Thanks. 1-1 one, one count coming up. For Anzinger, I think that's how you pronounce his name, catcher. He drives one, and uh, to Ryan, he should have it, and he's safe. Close call first. From here, it looked like he was safe. I'm not too sure. Okay, who was that? Anzinger, I think. Anzinger. He got on. Hey, that's the hit, ain't it? When, when you beat it out like that? That yes. sure is. And at the bottom, in the end of four, like I say, we have a score of one to one. We have a little conference here. Watch this wire, son, because if you pull it loose, uh, you'll, yank, you'll break, you'll choke Carl to death. He's okay. There. Can't go anywhere without my sidekick. There you go. Number 32 at bat, Warmers. Last time up, he got a single. Sean's going to try to hold him on close to the bag because you, you know they're probably going to steal, get out of that double play. They have no outs. No so outs. Take, not taking much of a lead. And I didn't get that call. Was that call a strike? That sure was a strike. Okay. Looked low from here, didn't it? Or did it to you? Yeah, it was a nice curveball. Looked like it crossed, top. It crossed right in the strike zone. Yep. It's where it crosses, not where it's caught. A lot of people. We changed cameras, so it might be a little difference in your picture, but. Oh, ho. Another nice pitch. That's one thing I've seen an improvement in Sean Conn from last year to this year is his curveball. It's gotten a lot better. I agree. Yeah. Khan seems to have a lot better control this year, too. Let's well, you it. just said it by saying this curveball's gotten better, huh? Litchfield has a really nice curveball. Probably the best on the team, I, I would say. He's, uh, he's a very good curveball pitcher. I hope all these nice pitchers decide they want to come out and play Legion ball this summer. Runner on first foul ball down the first place line. Come on, Jason, die for that. Jump up for that. Number 32, Weimers. Those. And so play. far, the weather is cooperating beautifully. Always playing college ball. He's got to make them catch. Sean Conn still on the mound. Score one to one. We got another game like we had the other night. One to oh, one yeah. score. Close. Turns around for a bunt. Going to move a runner, and it could. He could get there. Good throw by Conn. He's out. The only thing he could do, boy, Con rifled that over to first. Yeah, that was a good shot and a perfect throw. Perfect throw to first. How many outs we got here? One down. One down. Cool. Coming out of your senior, he's got to show a little leadership like that. Con. Yeah. Con's been showing leadership almost ever since he's been playing. To be honest with you. Uh, I know. Most of these seniors. He's very quiet. Very quiet. Doesn't say much. He uh, shows by example. You don't have to be talkative to be a leader. That's exactly right. You just you hit it right on the nail. And we got a fly pop up here. Noble's going to the fence after. Can he get it? Just a little bit out of too far out of play. Come on, Jason, you gotta make those catches. Come on now, give him <laughs> get, give him some e for effort. He jumped up towards the fence. Yeah, he he, he went for it. That's the first time I've seen him go for it this year. He, several times he's run into the fence. Sigger number 34. A little hard on him, don't you think? Hey, we got a got a few scouts over there in the stands too. They were down here talking to me earlier, and I couldn't give them any information. Here's a pitch from Sean. Ooh, strike. 
Good catch. Got a runner on second. One out. Top of the fifth. It's getting close. We want to play seven innings. I know. That's why I said after the game. Ball inside. That's why why I said after uh, the game on Tuesday that we can't we can't go for those one nothing two run games. We gotta we gotta keep the defense solid and, and get the offense going because we're playing uh, we're playing a way better team tonight than we did on Tuesday. Here comes the windup. Sean looks off the pitch off the runner. Pitch. A little while. Got time. What constituted that call for by the umpire, you know? Got Terry Kahn, um, the pitcher's father, pacing the sidelines here. Looks like he's kicked the fence in a few times. <laughs> father and coach. Father and son combination here. Here comes a pitch runner on second. He's looking ball. Give me a count, Ump. Two and two. Well, he's ahead of him. You notice how that Ump responds whenever I tell him to do something? <laughs> Unlike that other Ump uh, on Tuesday. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Ooh. Ball three, full Woo! count. Well, looked awful good, Blue. Of course, we can't see corners from behind here, but I tell you what, that looked pretty dang on good. Got a full count there. I was right across the numbers. Looked good from here, didn't it? It sure did. Again, can't see the corners from here. And we got a pop-up out of play. I think that ball will end up over at Noble's house over on Olive. Just about. We've had a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> Launched. Right. Hey, we've got some kids up on the tracks chasing balls this this, this game. We might right. save a few. Save a few of them balls. We can put some money in that new new diamond we got out there behind the school. The Hartley Complex. Oh, he's looking and he's there out of there. Oh, yeah. there he's out of there. Should have called that pitch two pitches ago, Blue. Strike out. Be careful you're on TV. I know. That was in the same spot, though. Yep. Look, make up call is what it is. Yeah, yeah, because it looked maybe just a tad bit higher. Than and the last we're at the one, top of the still. batting average with Atkins, number 12. He's a second baseman. Still have a runner on second. Two outs. Always got to worry about now is the batter. Just get the batter. Here's the pitch. And I'm blocked off by the base coach. He's not quite as big as the one we had the other night. <laughs> the other one was uh, short and wide. <laughs> I don't know how short he was. He was big and wide. Yeah, he, he was, he was I'm big, big and wide, but he made me look small. He was a nice man. Here's the pitch. Oh. I'm not too sure why he's not calling him that. I mean, mm. That's a nice curveball. It just came right on in. I saw on TV the other day where they're changing the strike zone. Going to make it a little tighter. Oh. At first they wanted to make it wider, and now you hear they, they want to make it tighter. Why can't they just agree with one thing? Well, the thing of it is, no matter what it is, the ump's still going to have a say, and exactly. whatever he calls, that's final. That's right. It's a judgment call. As long as he stays consistent with Exactly. That exactly. If he stays consistent. What are we doing? Putting him on, or did he walk? Um... I'm guessing put them on automatically. Hmm. Probably to get, well, I'm not too sure. We've got two outs. two outs. Makes it easier to get to force it in. Get to force it in any best shape. Yeah. yeah. Instead of having to go all the way over the first strike. Heath is your batter, number 25, the left fielder. Last time up, he got a single. Do we want him at bat? One for two. He's coming in at one for two. Base runners on, uh, and it's a shot. Could be trouble. And a good call by Coach Hammer. Easy out. Retires the side. That's why the coach. After four and a half innings, the score is still one, two, one. Field of bat. Bottom of the fifth. Score one to one.
and we still have short on the mound for Marysville. Marysville Monarchs so against the London Wed Waiters. Wed Waiters. Wed Waiters. <laughs> Litchfield's long overdue. He came in tonight with a 237 and is 0 for 1. And he's reaching for that one. So he's long overdue. If any time he needs to get a hit right now. Would you call that a change up, a sucker pitch, or what? Mr. A uh, little, little off speed with a little hook to it. Okay, that. Okay, uh, off speed with a little hook to it. That's the terminology I'm going to use for that. Litchfield has walked 12 times. And a shot by Litchfield. Is it going to be? It's on the ground. He got a single out of it. Litchfield gets it started. You said he need, he was due. He was due, and he got it. Maybe you should say they're all due. Yeah. Hey, Brill, you're due, Brill. And Doble made a Doble Doble Noble made a good call over here. He said he's due, and he come up with it. Brill's only got two home runs, so he's due. I'll tell you what that pitch was, Gary. That was the hit me curveball. Hit me curveball. Okay. And we're up to by. We're at the top of the batting order once again. Brill. He's been. Uh, Put out twice. Litchfield just has five. Unproductive so far. And Brill bunts. We move the runner. Sacrifice bunt. Get the runner over. And and that's a good decision to sacrifice bunt because uh, Litchfield's only coming in with five stolen bases. He, he's got he's got good speed, but uh, it's a good decision to get the, the runner over on a sacrifice bunt. Plus, it's a close game, and we're running out of innings. That exactly. one run may be the difference in the ball game. That's right. That's right. So we got to move runners. Got a runner on second in scoring position. Our batter now will be number 16, our left fielder, McCoy. Is that Benji? Benji McCoy. Benji McCoy. I don't know if he likes to be called Benji. Benji, okay. He got a walk last time up, and he gets a little wood to it and sends it to the railroad track. Not quite. Makes it nice. We don't have trains running down that track anymore. Yeah, I know. The only thing I deal with is the, is the sheep in the background. <laughs> Man. <Nah>. Yeah. <laughs> that one walk in the uh, last time up from McCoy was McCoy's first of the year. First and only walk of the year, huh? And McCoy's looking and he's reaching. That's probably one of Strike the two. Why. He's only had one walk in, in this year. He get, he really goes for the bad pitches. He's, he's just hey, calm down. he's he's got in his head, and you go up there, you're going up there to be a hitter. Yeah, that's right. He's he's done a real nice job. Though. He's looking. Mm. Mm. Ooh, he looked at an awful good one. Uh, yeah, from here it looked great, didn't it? You got to have a good pair of eyes to look at one of those. That's right. He's a he's a very good outfielder, very good left fielder. It's head out to him. He's pretty dependable. And a shot to shortstop. He handles it. Good throw. He's there. Yeah. Good call. They call him Good safe. Call. Good call. He's mm. safe. That's yeah. an infield base hit. That's big. And the terminology for that is infield base hit. Thank you there, John. That's <laughs> McCoy gets on. Was it that close? That's a, it, I was blocked off by nice three call. three uh, players yeah. right there. It's a very good call. I tell you, you get there at the same time. You know, as as an umpire, you get a runner to benefit of the doubt, huh? As a runner or as an umpire, you're listening for that either that sound or that sound. You get that two sound. Then well, you see what made choice. that play happen was your runner on second was playing with the shortstop, That's and right. the shortstop didn't know whether he's going to go or not, and he had to play with him. Plus, shortstop bobbled the ball just a little bit, but I don't think that would have made any big difference. I think uh, what you said, looking looking uh, Litchfield back at second. That Mr. Dependable Con at bat, number 14, he's the pitcher. He'd use a nice line drive about now. He's uh, two for two. He's got one hit both times up. So this has so far has been his day. He came in the night with 439. You said he's two for two already? Yeah, I'm showing two hits, two for two. He's boosted that average up. He has seven walks to his credit. No home run, so he's due. Let's get a three-run shot here. Good eye. Hey, and we got oh, and the runners, runners both runners. The pass ball. There we go. Both runners advanced that time. We got no outs. Two. Pass ball, no outs, right. Yeah, that's oh, right. Sacrifice bunt. Where we at? Yeah. Good call Bro. on the camera, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's on the camera. He sees all. The camera doesn't lie. Sometimes he sees all, but the camera doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he told me that once before. 
Sees all, knows all. Oh, we're having another conference at the mound, it looks like. This pretty weather's bringing them all out tonight. Oh, yeah. They're coming from everywhere. I, I think this is not only the biggest turnout this year, but probably this year and last year combined, because we only had, they usually turn out for the playoff games, and we only had one home playoff game, and, and there wasn't a, the greatest of turnouts last year. So, but, uh, it's really nice to see this place filled with a lot of people for baseball. I'd like to see that more than just playoff. <laughs> yeah, you know, you get you got a lot of these mm -hmm. that are down here that are girls that are softball. And they play the same time baseball. We've got softball players, the girls down here. We got uh, track. Well, they've made a decision to put Con on. We got and bases. not pitch Load to the him. bases. They're looking for the force out. Cut the runner off at home. And we got Noble at bat, and Noble's got a double last time, so they may have made a bad decision. Let's see what happens. Base is loaded. It's kind of a two-fold situation in the coach's shoes from the other side. You walk on, you get to another good hitter in Noble. And Noble's yeah. shot shoots one toward the dugout. And uh, not to brag on him or nothing. We still got to score a one and one to one, isn't it? Jason uh, Jason shows up in tight situations. That is true. He does. That is really, true. Yeah, he is. I would love to see his average with uh, runners on. I believe we call those that show up in tight situations gamers. Gamers. He's uh, definitely shown up to be a gamer this year, no doubt about it. Oh, and he it gets is. one. He got the wood to it. Is it played. trouble? He played. It. Oh, good he shot, but he won't move. Well. He scored a run. Yeah, RBI. To give London the lead, two to one. That's a good sacrifice. Good sacrifice hit there. Advanced runner from third. We still have runners on second and first. One out. And we got Ryan Peters at bat. Ryan, last time up. Uh, Last two times up, he's uh, been unproductive with, with two outs. He looks like he's playing out there, Danny Carl. They got scouting report. And a shot by Ryan, and it's going to it's going to move some people. He can get and a throw, and he's safe. Bases are loaded again. And I tell you, had I really believe had McCoy been running, he might have scored that time. Maybe, but, but I think it was a good decision for Coach Hammer to hold him up. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a hard shot. That shot kind of kicked that pitcher in the leg there. It hurt a little bit. That's a nice solid hit. Very nice. Now we had a bases loader again. They're checking on that pitcher, see how its shin's doing after it was ripped off there. We got a timeout here. Carl, can you reach any of the... Uh... Band? Yeah. I tell you what, we finally woke up. Took us to the fifth inning, but we woke up. We'll probably just go ahead and stay with that camera, Carl. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Down, it'd be nice to get some insurance runs here. Maybe drive in a couple runs. A nice single would score two, being as Con has a lot of speed at second. And Jason May has. Two home okay, runs. Jason May at bat, number seven. The last time strikeout and the double the first time up at bat. One home run. He does have one home and run. And he has one home run to his credit. I remember he, uh, that went over the ticket booth out there at right field. Almost, Foul ball strike one. Almost hit Jason's car. You got quite a memory there, Mr. Yeah. Noble. Hey. I, en I envy you. Thank you. Yeah, foul ball, strike two. I envy myself too. As, <laughs> <laughs> you got to remember though, he's got quite a few y years younger than you. Yeah, well, you're right well, about that. Back in your day, you had a memory like that. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you're on. <laughs> and my man, the problem with the guy on the, on the mound is he's wearing shack shoes, and this is a baseball game. <laughs> get a shot of them shoes, you get a chance, Carl. May at bat. One for two, and he's looking. It's Good in the dirt. Hey. Runners on first and second. How many outs we got here? Bases two out. We got the bases loaded. A walk okay, I didn't see McCoy. And tall as he is out, I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We walked Con while I go didn't we? I didn't bring my glasses yeah. down here. I'd loan them to I, you. And I'd wear them too. 
And we got a pop out. up. Flying. Anything can happen. Run Could out. be trouble. Run Anything can happen. Oh, oh yeah. Right fielder makes that play. Ooh. Looked a little bit like a circus out there, but yeah, he, <laughs> he reeled it in. <laughs> and did we score that time? Yes, All two right. To two to one. Got to get the defense now. Keep up with the defense. At the end of five, it's London two, Marysville one. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, we're back at the Jake. Jacob Von Kennel. You on? Yeah, we're on. We got a few celebrities in the background. We got the football coach, two of them, and one of the basketball coaches there coming out and watch this ball game. Hey, we got three As coaches. We go. one, three football coaches. One's hanging out down here in a chair. Oh, he don't count. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, there's uh, yeah, Mr. Four. Woodford also. Yeah, Woodford too. We got the whole coaching staff from London here. That's Number 38, support. Coach Johnson. Glassborn. He's uh, nice two times up. Ball. He has been unproductive. He's a center fielder for him. We are in the top of the six. Score two to one. This is the heart of their order. They're in the three, four, five. So if we can get by this, we'll be. Uh, Hopefully, nice. cruise sailing. Nice pitch, climbing a ladder, trying to get him to chase that high one. You got no two count. You throw just about anything. Hey, you, tr you try to get him to hit your pitch when you're in the driver's seat like that. One in the dirt there. Con still on the mound. Got a got a good game going for him. How many hits they had so far? Possibly four. Ooh, real close pitch, real close pitch. Trying to work the corners. Going from uh, a head no two in the count to an even four. Let's see if we can get a good one here. Ah, Shot, and we got to walk. Glass broad. Four straight balls. First batter up. Ends up on first with a walk. Next batter will be short, the pitcher. Shortest one for two with a single. Let's see if we can get this guy to ground into a double play. Left-handed batter. It's different to see your pitcher in the number four slot, the cleanup man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. He's been getting on too. I'd like to see a 6-4-3 double play here. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Pegged him in the helmet. Ball went the right way, so he can't advance. Benji, probably be a weak fly to you. Get a good jump. Had that ball went the other way, and we might have had a runner advancing on us there. Could have. I don't have any terminology for that. If you get a chance, help me out. That's just a lucky bounce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they, oh. ragged on, they ragged on me bad on Tuesday about a resume. So, Mr. Resume over Mr. here. Mr. Resume. So. <laughs> Sean Conn still on the mound. It's you. It's your day today. <laughs> it's, this is his second. Uh, Time in what? Two days? Three days? Three days. Three yes. days. Yeah. Gotta have at least two days. Is that what it is? Yeah. Two days? So I can remember for two high, high school balls. Two days. Khan's uh, determined he's gonna pick that man off. Trying to keep him close. Keep there. him on the bag. He's getting a pretty good lead he's, there. He's getting a major league lead. And we got a foul ball. Right off the ankle. Boy, that pitcher's taking some shots down there in the lower <laughs> shin area, isn't he? The lower half. The line drive, now he hits himself. I'll tell you what, what Sean needs to do, and, I, and he did it earlier, and that was uh, try to sneak a peek and uh, get the runner while he's still moving out in his leadoff. Like right now. You got to go for him right now. Boy, I was going to say, you got to keep him close. Yeah, he, He's getting a four or five step lead. Too late. He's Turn pretty much got late. Con's turn and delivery down, his throw down pretty crack. He doesn't seem to be having too much trouble getting back. He's going. And there he goes, and there's the throw. Have him. Got, got him. Got he should got be got there. It. All right. Nice two. Yeah. Nice throw by Clark Tobin. I'll tell you what, that's the best throw of the year I've seen Clark Tobin throw down there. That's well. a beautiful throw. He's, been, he's got two throws tonight, and both of them have been on the money. And Ryan Peters with those long arms. Just I'll tell you what, he reminds me a lot of myself. <laughs> oh, here we go, telling those old war stories. Getting deep in here. 
Hey! It's on. The water, the water from the creek is right. Yeah, I know it. Oh, oh, three! Got him. And we and got a strikeout. Out. Two outs, just like that. Wow. Two pitches. That's Sean's uh, from my calculation. That's his third strikeout today. You know. I, I would think. I guess you're the unofficial book over here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely unofficial. I would think number uh, 23 will cox it back. Being in a tightest situation as they were last inning, I think getting out of that with just one run that was uh, <laughs> or two innings ago, that was uh, quite a boost. From the sound of that crack of that catcher's mitt, that ball's humming, baby. It's getting to be the late innings. It seems Sean's starting to pick up the pace a little bit. Does he get stronger as he goes on? Yeah, he usually is that way. Here comes the throw. Mr. Dependable, Sean Conn, shoves it. Strike two. We are in the top of the fifth with a score of two to one. London I, on top. I have noticed a, a difference in speed. Later innings, it has increased. He has a tendency to do that. Fifth inning, he has a tendency to pick up the pace a little bit. Turn your meter on this time. Let's see what he's throwing. <laughs> I got the gun on. Well, I tell you what, if I'd have known about it, I'd have brought the radar gun down. And we got a shot there down the shortstop. Peters feels it clean. Good throw. Oh, and does. Ooh, yeah. And the ice cream scoop by Noble at first. Hey, I taught him that. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Now, there's a situation where I don't know whether I could have give him a clean out there because he was bobbling the ball. Oh. you seen the ball come out of the glove. Yeah. That was just back in. He already had him out. He was my tail. it out to come over. Over. Have mercy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Let's get some insurance. Good thing he's not umpiring, huh, Carl? Carl, you get a chance to pick up them kids across the creek. We got a bunch of people on the other side of the creek. We got kids everywhere watching this ball game. Not enough room over here. Not, not enough room, huh? Yeah, we got people everywhere watching this game. <laughs> it's, a, it's a packed house. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sellout. That's great. I think those Sell are some of our tickets. some are Sell future, out without tickets. future ball players. You know, that's one thing I haven't quite understood. You have to pay to go to the high school football games and the basketball games, but yet baseball, you can just walk right in. Every sport, but baseball and softball. You know, I think well, that, that's kind of underrated. Tennis, I think you don't have to pay in tennis. I tell you, they 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 are losing money. Sure, you're not having the turnout at a baseball game like you do the other right. sports, but money's money. Exactly. I mean, as it, it all adds up in the end, and, and I think that would be a good idea to, to at least charge a dollar. I mean, yeah. a, dollar a little cover charge to get yeah, into sure. the ballpark, you know? I don't see no problem. I mean, take all that money. You have, the, there's not too many things in life that are free these that's days. Right. That's right. So enjoy it and quit that's fussing about it. <laughs> if it's free, I, enjoy it. I tell you what, I'd be more than happy to come down here and pay a dollar to come watch these too. guys play. As long as I knew, as long as it, I knew was, it was helping them. It was, it was going towards the school. I tell you what you do. On the situations that we're doing the games, just give us some money and we'll buy a few tapes with it to see that more people get to see it for free. How does that sound? Huh? Hush the, Hush the crowd. Hush the crowd. Okay, batter Tobin, number 25. Tobin's last time up. Had a strikeout. He's made it put out in a strikeout. Been put out and got a strikeout. And he's looking. It's too right. They took a big, big cut at that one. Mm -hmm. I think he wanted it. Tobin's due. Oh, strike two. Had a little hitch in that swing. Didn't quite meet the ball. Getting our cameraman into it. I like it. Yeah. Well, he's see, oh, and Tobin, Tobin goes down swinging. Strikeout number two for Tobin tonight. Long Which brings up Long, our DH. Will we change pitchers for Long? They've been changing pitchers. Yep, here we go. And here we go. the change again. He must, he must really have them nervous over in the other dugout. He must. If he, if he just can't let Long him. laid down a beautiful bunt uh, the last game. Oh, no to, doubt. Um, right to, after Ryan Peters laid down a beautiful mm -hmm. bunt. To win the game for us. To help win the game for us um, against Utica. This is a, every time Long's come up, they've changed to a left-handed pitcher. 
You know, warm up. I think it's ridiculous though. Okay, number 35 came in. Sandia to pitch. The first baseman come in to pitch to the left-handed batter, Long, for the third time. He's looking. Strike one. Been calling that all day. And I like, tell you what, it's been productive for him because uh, he's kept Long from doing any damage to us. Kept him sidelined, huh? That's right. Ball, one and one. And see, that catcher tried to frame that pitch, bring it up, and try to get the umpire to squeeze into that second strike. Didn't quite work, though. Like strike said, two. Not too sure what Long is looking at. Like you said earlier, Adam, uh, this umpire seems to be fairly consistent. Yeah. Here comes wind up. He's looking hard. That pitcher steps off. Uh, see if we can't get Carl to see if he can follow this pitch this time. Follow it all the way from the catcher to the batter in one motion. <laughs> yeah, the pitcher to the batter. No, I don't want to do that. I'm glad you guys caught that because, see, that was just a little trivia there. You were just checking to see if we were on our toes, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I just meant I blew it. Pitcher to the batter. <laughs> Catcher to the batter. Wasn't that something? And Long gets a little wood on it. Clean pick up by shortstop to throw. Is he there? Does Long have some wheels or does he have some wheels? We're going to have a uh, runner come in for him. Courtesy runner. Tell you what, he got down there pretty quick. Shortstop was playing a little deep there. Looked like he fielded it pretty good. Well, it was one of those uh, just didn't put slow rollers. Didn't put yeah. any heat on that yeah, ball. It just kind of the, the shortstop really couldn't run up to the ball as well because he was coming in from an angle. So he did the best job he could, and Kevin just went went as fast as he could and he just beat it out. What I've seen about that shortstop. Adam, is he feel, instead of fielding the ball out in front of him, he lets it field it up inside of oh, him. Brings his you arms know, up. And so okay. that, that, that causes him to take more time to get it out and get it over there, which is creating a big break for the London hitters. And you're hearing that from Mr. American Legion coach. Stick around, he'll teach us something. <laughs> Glad you could make it, John. We have a little fun in here. Don't take anything personal. <laughs> Even though Life's I'm... too short to take things <laughs> personal. Litchfield up. Hey, Litchfield Litch... still do. He only got one a wasn't enough. Litchfield has a single. He's one for one for two. He's only got one triple. Let's see if he can get a triple. RBI triple. He's only got one triple and eight RBIs. No pressure. The wind's starting to pick up. The weather has really been good to us tonight. I tell you what, I'm not. Have we run on this catcher yet? Because he comes up like he is. Not while I've been here, I don't think. Yeah. He's got an arm. He just he demonstrated that when he threw down the first base on, on the missed uh, missed third strike catch. And every so time he throws back to the pitcher, he seems to throw a ball like he's mm -hmm. trying to get it down the second. You know, he makes it li line drive, throwing the ball down there, and the runner goes. And we got, got a shot, in, and it's in there. Come on, come on. And come he's going to move the runners. He moves him all the way to third. All oh, right. He, Way to Litchfield. go, Noble, on the call again. That <laughs> says Litchfield's due twice in a row. Litchfield comes through with a base hit. Two for two. Litchfield's two for three. I'm two for two. You're two for two, okay. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand. Mr. Resume there. Mr. Resume's batting a thousand. Just ask him. He's got it written down. I know it all. <laughs> I ain't doing the stats today. <laughs> and batter up. We're at the top of the batting order once again with Brill. Brill has been unproductive the whole way so far. He's due. Uh, okay. <laughs> Carl and Noble said he's due. <laughs> I don't see any. Wait a minute. 
None. None. Uh, Tobin might have, um, Tobin, I think Tobin struck out this this yeah, time, so we've got one out. And we have runners in scoring position. One is third, and we have runner on first. Number 35, it looks like the pitch again. They're changing gloves on the other side. So let's. Um, I say this is the first time I've seen pitchers rotated this often. Our uh, fans are getting kind of <laughs> restless over there. Well, you don't get them down here very often, so you keep them down here as long as you can. <laughs> Let's take a break. Number 12, Brill. Runners on first and third. Got a new pitcher, left-handed pitcher, and he's looking right at the Left-handers have very nice pickoff plays, most of them. Really get it over there. This number 35, that's Sandy. He's uh was pitching to our left-hand batters, which was only one. Yeah. They have the advantage. They're facing towards first. However, they got a runner on third to worry about, too. Now, watch out. Litchfield took a lead there before the pitcher stepped on the rubber this last time. Now, he needs to wait till he steps on the rubber, you know, because the pitcher can then just throw over. Yep. Exactly. Ooh, he caught a ball. Yeah, oh. That's big, yeah. Not More's in. Sure. More's yeah. in. All right. That makes the score three to one on that ball bo call. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure what he did. I didn't see it, but he swung his front shoulder. It looked like then it moved, it, moved, moved it to first and home. Can't do that. Whatever he did, somebody sound like somebody in the stands called it. <laughs> yeah. As soon as uh, and we scored a run and runner advanced to second and pitcher wants to know what he did wrong. As soon as you come set as a pitcher, you cannot look at either base with your shoulder, shoulders moving. You gotta keep them stationary. Shoulders gotta stay square. That's right. That hurt them. Hurt them? Yeah, it didn't hurt, didn't hurt us. Score now is three to one. Now the coach is coming out from the other team. He's questioning the home plate umpire. It's kind of late to be questioning him. He took a, quite a long time to question him. Probably want to know who called that. It sounded like the call come from up from um, our dugout. I saw his arms go up. <laughs> we got a deep conference, heavy conference there. That seems to be under control. Yep, nobody's swinging yet. <laughs> <laughs> And we still have Brill at bat. Runner on second. Then the score on a balk. Here comes the pitch. And Brill gets underneath of it. It's gone. Litchfield's not tagging. There's a situation where we should have had a tag up. Not both coaches, both Coach Hammer and Coach Conn were yelling at Litchfield to get back and tag. I'm not too sure why he did so As deep as that ball is hit, I yeah. believe he could have wouldn't have had too much problems getting into third. I mean, it's not like he's slow. Sounds to me like the fans yeah. along the first baseline yeah, they were a little restless on that tag. Yeah. They were yelling tag too. Well, that that's uh, number 16 at bat. That's a that's a group down there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> McCoy. That's uh, that's the London Posse. <laughs> yeah. Still have a runner on on second. A good group of guys. That's two outs now, isn't it, Gary? Two outs. Got a oh, strike out and a put out. Oh yeah. Need Benji to come up big here with a hit. It seems like so far everybody he's thrown to, they've been able to make contact with the ball. And we are in the bottom of the sixth. Is number 10 their ace pitcher? Is he their ace pitcher? That I don't know. Bottom of the sixth, and the score is 3 2 1. You would, you would Ball's in the so. dirt. You would think so, playing uh, the sixth seeded team in the division, too. 
Uh, I believe they played St. Charles the same night London played Utica. Yes, Tuesday so night. If That's it true. would it would come to reason that number ten is their ace. But they've opted to go to the relief pitcher at 35. McCoy at bat, still have a runner on second. Here's the pitch. It's inside. Did you catch that count? Three and one. You must have a mic hook up to that umpire. Every time you want to know the count, he's right there with it. Hey, he, I told him, get it together or get out. <laughs> <laughs> And Benji gets under it. It's a little high. Looks like routine. Got a hold of it, though. So far, everybody that's come up against this kid has put wood on the ball. Defense is playing real good for Marysville. We got a score of three to one. Three to one after six innings. We got three outs to go. Okay, we're back here now for the top of the seventh. Three more outs, and London can seal the victory. Score, London three, Marysville one. Top of the seventh. Nothing crazy, just got to come out and play defense, get three outs, and go home. Get this over with. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Strike. Most likely, Bexley. I'm not... And we're still going with Khan. Actually playing Briggs tonight. See how that turns out. <laughs> nice pitch. Strike two. Two for two. Khan's Give him the, in control. Give him the heat now, Sean. Just whiz it by him. Who is that batting? Uh, he's a lefty. Looks like number 35. He's uh, is number 35. Number 35, Sandia, Sandia, or whatever you say it, and uh, he's uh, been unproductive so far. Well, we like way. to keep him that way here yeah. in the top of the seventh. Strike three. Strike three. Got him. Marysville fans weren't too happy with that, but that looked pretty good from here. And it's another strikeout for Sean. Right at, right at those lower numbers on the front of the jersey. It's all strike. Alt Zinger's strike. up, and Alt Zinger got a single last time up. Can't please everybody. That's right. I've learned that from six years of umpire. Hey, the there's LBC always gonna be, League. there's always gonna be somebody mad at you. That's right. Here's the pitch, and he got some wood on it. Clean pickup by Peters to Noble. And it's there. Good pickup by Noble. Two down. Tell you what, it looks like this infield grass is a little bit long, helping slow the ball up a little bit. And that does make a difference. What a way to end uh, for these seniors, your last game playing on Jacob Von Kennel Field. Is this going to be the last game here? Yeah, they, uh, they go to Dublin Kaufman High School for the next round. What a way to end your senior year with a playoff victory. One out away from finishing it off. Here comes the pitch. Ooh. I think that was his drop ball. Kind of dropped right out of the strike zone. They still call it a drop. When I played, they called it a yeah. drop. They got so much change and different stuff now. I tell you what, though, down two runs and two outs, you know, you can't, you can't take those close ones. Give him the heat, Sean. Come on, Sean. Put him in the book. And we're looking. Got about a three and one. Well, Adam, if, if they don't play till Tuesday, then that would mean that uh, Mr. Khan could, def could definitely yes. step on the hill for him again. Exactly. For Bexley. I, I see that happening. Strike, Sean. In three I days kick. rest again, because if they win that one, they won't be playing again until they count seven days. I'm not sure. I'm Con's bearing down. Here's the pitch, and we got some wood on it. Uh, it's going to fall in for a hit. Got a single by Weimer. He kind of just threw the bat out there. That was one of those excuse me hits. Yeah, just hoping he could place it somewhere and get a base hit. Single by Weimer. Just dumped it right in between uh, 
second baseman and the right fielder picked him up a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Won't hear any of us. A little comment from the peanut gallery. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine up, we got a pinch hitter up here. I don't have a name for him. Is that right, pinch hitter? Yeah, you got it. Okay. We'll call him Niner. We'll Niner. Call him Niner. Woo! Ooh, he looks at the first right. one. Cold strike. Mr. Niner. Hello, <coughs> man. Time stretches. Here's the pitch, and it's ball inside. Got a one and one count. Neither one of you guys have done the seventh inning. Uh, take me out to the ball game yet? Are you ready? Never will. Huh? <laughs> Never will. <laughs> dun, 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 hit it. I told you Tuesday. <laughs> I don't sing and dance. Hey. <laughs> oh well, that batter swung at that one after it was in the catcher's mitt. And we got a one and two. That was called his trick pitch. <laughs> Here we go. A couple dollars, huh? A pitch. And yeah, that's, that's it. it. He's out. Woo! And that ends the game. London comes out victorious in his second tournament game against Marysville. 3 2 1. That is the first time we had advanced past the second round in the playoffs for as long as I can remember. Quite some time. Quite and some time. both games, uh, didn't Brill go all, all seven innings, both games? Uh, Con? Or Con, yeah. Yes, yes he did. Con yes, went did. both seven innings on both games. And like you say, he's going to have a little layoff. They go Tuesday to play where? At Dublin Kaufman High School. Dublin will Kaufman. Play the winner of Bexley and Briggs. So we've got a good chance of uh, Con will probably be thrown in. You always throw your best pitcher. And right now, Con is it. I tried to get the girls track team down here for a little interview. Uh, quite a few of them are over there, and they've been successful this year and went into BAC. But fifth straight, fifth straight BAC. That's great. So they, they um, won the first of those. I don't know if they're going to come down or not. We'll just hold on here for a minute. Carl Pan, just get a little bit, everybody you can. John, I want to thank you for coming over and. Uh, Give me a little of that new terminology that I've been messing up on. Well, Gary, and I appreciate you letting me uh, stand in with you and talk about the game a little bit and a few of the players. And uh, I won't be able to be over there Tuesday night at Dublin Kaufman probably, but I'd like to wish uh, the London Red Raiders baseball team well. So if you want to spin around here, uh, John. John Krupp here. Carl had a camera on, and I didn't know it, so he's. we probably got a blooper there. It's John Krupp here to my right, Adam Noble. How you doing? To my left, how about that? My right and my left, they're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and Gary McNeil. And we hope you enjoy this game. We hope the camera didn't make that much difference. We had to change cameras in the middle of the game. But once again, we thank you for watching. Get out and support these teams. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Good night.